Welcome to our Zoom call. This is uh, Marie Waite. I am back and this time I am interviewing Rain Hansen who is the uh, president of the Cyberspace Foundation. Hi Rain, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Good morning, Marie. Yeah, good morning. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, do this uh, interview with me. And uh, I'm really excited about uh, about sharing your information to the viewers because you have done so much. Uh, your accomplishment is remarkable. And I wanted to just share that information. So um, Rain, you and I met at the um, event uh, uh, for with Phil Elm Association. Am I right? Is that the right name for it? Um, yes, it was. Um, the name is FACO. It's okay. Phil Elm, Filipino American Cultural Organization. Okay, yeah. and you were the former president of that organization when you when you and I met because I was one of the uh, candidates for getting an awards, and you were the uh, president of that organization during that time. Correct. I was the president uh, for two years, uh, year 2017 and 2018. Okay. How did you get started with that organization? Oh, well, it was, it was a simple uh, invitation. I was invited to, to join in, in a Mrs. Philam. It was a pageant invitation. Oh, okay. So I was like, on and off, on and off, if I will go in because pageant is not my thing. <laughs> So, so I cannot resist my friend who invited me to join in, and so, so I tried. So after that, um, they put me. They invited me to be, uh, to be one of the committee members of the. Um, back then was the upcoming Miss Philam. Okay. So I joined in to be part of the committee and after that just a very long story and I want to make it short uh, they saw me a little performance there so in the, they invited me to be an assistant treasurer of the organization okay so I joined in, uh, and after a few months they invited me to be part of the board as a board of director so I got in. After one year of being a board of director, they put me, they invited me, or, or they encouraged me, I mean. They encouraged me to run for president. I and see. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know anyone because I was very straight. Work, home, work, home. So I don't know anything about organization in the and uh, Philam was the first organization that I had ever joined in. So. Wow, that's incredible. But mm -hmm. as far as I can remember, the, the first event that you did, which is the event that I was nominated, was so successful. How many people were you able to uh, gather in that event? Because I was looking at about 500 people, am I right? Correct. Yeah, that's the capacity of that uh, place. And... It was really overwhelming. I, I wasn't expected that it's gonna be that big and but you did it. Yeah, it was a phenomenal <laughs> success and I was so grateful for those people who supported me that at first I was very, very scared when I joined, when I accepted the presidency, because I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone. I told them how can I be a leader of the organization when I don't know anyone? <laughs> so yeah. So it was just, you know, probably it's a destiny. If you believe in destiny, yeah, probably. It. <laughs> oh, well, that was a very, very successful event. I was so impressed by you and you were amazing. Uh, you were you. wearing this beautiful gown. And one thing that also happened is that that event was also aired on ABS-CBN, uh, at TFC actually, right? Yes, uh, the, that, Fil uh, uh, Filipino channel, yeah. That the Filipino channel, uh, and that was amazing <laughs> because I remember seeing myself in on TV. It's like, oh my God, what am I doing there? That was awesome. <laughs> I know. I remember you were the photo bummer and it was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, they were interviewing. I was behind you and they were filming you and I didn't really realize that I was behind you. 
Yeah. But it was amazing. But prior from being the president, you were also working full time for a company. Correct. And what what, what was that? What what do you do? Um, um, I was um, I was working in Encinitas back then. I was um, uh, managing one uh, wireless company. Okay. I. I I am the controller up to now. I'm still okay. uh, part of that company. And yes, so it's so, so hard to work as, you know, handling a big organization and at the same time you're, you're managing uh, a company as well. So it's, it's really tough, but wow. I made it. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was crazy because I understand how that works. I mean, I can re totally relate to it when you're working full time and then running another organization another company and you're doing it at the same time i really don't know how you did it but it was amazing i mean again it was very successful over 500 people at the event and i had such a great time receiving my award at that event and again you were you were very organized about the whole thing you planned it well and i know you have a lot of people uh, supporting you too but Correct. i guess i i always look at the leader of the organization how everything becomes uh, uh, successful because of the delegation, how you um, communicate with people and you were loved by uh, your uh, people in there. It's just, was, it was such a great experience. Now, I wanted to ask you about the Cyberspace Foundation. So is the Cyberspace Foundation a nonprofit that you started and what is it, uh, how did it all work out for you and uh, how did it came about? Okay, um, after, my, after I completed my term with the FACO, I, I started um, planning to, to establish my own because since, uh, since that uh, big ex experience that I had with FACO, it's like um, it became part of my life that, that you know, it made me so so uh, fulfilled whenever I try to, to do something that it's, you know, helping other people. And at the same time, you're organizing that makes you happy. It's very interesting. So that um, makes me realize that, wow, this is something that makes me happy. Why, I sh why should I not continue doing this by myself? So I established my own foundation. Okay. And thankfully, uh, I met uh, Marie Wade to help me carry out this as well to be to be to partner with Fire Up Connect. So I'm so grateful to to continue this for so many many more years. To come, okay. So. so what what is Cyberspace Foundation? What does it do? But, um, yeah, Cyberspace Foundation is like. Um, we are an advocate of cyberbullying or okay. anti-bullying in general. So um, at the same time, we are a nonprofit, a 501c3, wherein uh, our purpose is to provide scholarships and educational programs. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. So and how many years have you been running the Cyberspace Foundation? So far, it's going to two years now. Two years. I saw some pictures where you had all these uh, young girls, young teenagers that were in like a beauty pageant. Is that part of what you do on cyberspace? Correct. Um, I, I planned out that the cyberspace be, um, my, my frontliners are my beauty queens because oh. they are the one that uh, they can help out to carry out our advocacy of okay. anti-bullying. So, so um, these kids, especially these uh, teenagers, they're, they're the one that's always experiencing the, the bullying in the school or in their peers. So oh, from their experience and of their age, I think it's, it's beautiful that they can help us out. Okay, and I remember that you have gone to other countries also competing uh, for the pageant. Is that is that right? Correct. Yeah. Um, my winners, whenever I have my beauty queens, I send them out to different countries. 
So we have um, franchise in the Philippines. Okay. Uh, in Canada, and actually there's more, but I will just mention two so far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh. And, and you bring not just young teenagers, you're also bringing in adults, like, uh, you know, uh, even married uh, women, yes. they can be part of. So I remember you talked to me about that. That was incredible. But you're also bringing in the adults, uh, the women that, uh, that are already married and they can still join the pageant. Correct. Yeah, because um, these parents too, these misses, they have their children too that they want to protect with, from bullying. Correct. Okay. So I think it's a must that these um, uh, women, these um, moms, can can be part of the organization as well. Oh wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I am impressed with what you did with Cyberspace Foundation for a very short period of time because I did run a nonprofit organization also. And I started that in 2008, 2008. And I know how hard it is to, to, um, to develop a nonprofit organization in your community, but the way you're doing it, it's very smart and, and, and so fun for a lot of uh, young girls and women to, to be a part of it. So that is awesome. Now, uh, what are your future plans right now? Since um, we are in a, you know, uh, in the lockdown. In lockdown. <laughs> so what are your what are your plans in the future? Uh, so far, my plans in the future, since uh, we cannot do anything yet, um, I'm supposed to have seven events for the year 2020. And seven events? Because of this pandemic, I don't know that seven events will gonna happen. So they were all canceled or some are still, you know, scheduled. Wait and see, because we are still not done with the 2020. So, so far, I'm still um, trying to, to um, conceptualize. Um, I'm planning to, to do a TV show. All about right. Filipino okay. culture, Filipino community in, in the U.S. So, hopefully, I can, I can complete it before the lockdown ends. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited about that because, you know, how many people can start a Filipino uh, TV show? Uh, I mean, you're definitely, you know, uh, an ideal person to do that because of your connections. You have so many influential leaders that you were able to bring into the events. Um, you're, you have connections from outside California that they, they actually fly just to be at your event. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So I'm, I'm very, very grateful as well because there are so many people that really trust my ability that I can uh, really offer what they are expecting to have, to get yeah. to, to a specific event. So I'm grateful for that. And, um, and with that TV show, I cannot do that until the, until the travel ban be lifted because part of it is going to be traveling around the U.S. So I'm very, very excited to, to do that. It's just probably it's going to lift, uh, lift up my spirit. <laughs> yes. Since this lockdown, I feel like, oh, my God, am I going to survive or what? It's you're just, a, you're oh a people God. person, too, I, I'm guessing, because that's how I feel. If I don't, if I'm not around people, I feel like, oh, my gosh. But I'm doing a lot of Zoom uh, meetings like now. You and I are connecting. Uh, mm -hmm. through Zoom. And uh, I feel like, you know, I'm not alone. I, you know, I'm, I'm talking to people, so it's good. But one thing I wanted to ask you, Rain, I have known you for, uh, for quite some time now. One thing that I really like about you is how you build your relationship with your connections. What are your um, effective ways of doing that? Because, you know, building a relationship is a style also. And you have to also be good at communication, good at um, how you approach people. So what are, the, what are your ways of doing it, making it very, very effective for you? Oh, wow, that's a very tough question. Um, okay, so I think the first thing that I do is just be yourself. That's because 
my personality is what you see is what you get. That's me. So I don't have hidden a personality that eventually you'll discover, oh, she is like this and like that. But I don't know for some, but for me, that's me. And um, So you're and, saying you just have, you're very transparent. Yes, I'm very transparent. And, you know, sometimes we are not, we are not that perfect either. So sometimes I have that moment that I just don't want to talk to people. So whenever I have that moment, I just don't want to see my phone ringing or, you know, I just put it aside and I don't want to, I just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, <laughs> but um, maintaining my connections to people, um, very simple. First is I, I study their personality. I have to study how to to deal with individual because everyone has its own individuality. Okay. So uh, we cannot please everyone. So it's really hard. So the first thing is at first is I'm very very quiet. I'm just observing first. Okay. But it doesn't mean I don't like you. I'm just studying your behavior. How can I handle that person? That's how I do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is actually what I was talking about yesterday at um, when I was doing my live Facebook. I was talking about listening and really uh, observing people's uh, behavior and facial expression, how they communicate with you. And, sure. and then you learn how to, um, to approach them. So, so basically, that is the first thing that you do is you observe and try to understand who they are and what their personality is about. And then so once you learn that, what do you do next? Oh, once I learned that, I, I don't try to, to change them. It's their personality. It's mm -hmm. them. So you just have to accept who they are. Okay. And okay. respect. For, uh, foremost is the respect, whoever they are. Okay. So if, 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 you, if you meet someone who is, you know, so bold and how, what, what, what happens if they're a little bit on the arrogant side? What do you, how do you handle that? I turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around. No, sometimes, um, because it's their personality. So when I am in the mood of I can still handle it, I'll try my best. But if you think that it's just going to be like going nowhere, just turn around. You don't okay. need to 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 insist yourself to be you know part of her or his uh, world because it's not gonna work. Just turn okay. around. Yeah. So so you you select the people that you work with. Exactly. Yeah. I don't okay. deal with. Yeah. I'm very very. I'm very very um, friendly person, but I'm very. Um, selective who i want to deal with okay yeah so there's that selection process no matter what yes okay okay and so what type of people do you like to work with oh one thing that i like are those ambitious okay um loves to do the action take uh, uh, how do you say that Result oriented. The result oriented. Oh, kind so you like to work with people that are result oriented? Yeah, I don't okay. want I don't want the kind of person that's just like all talk, talk, talk and no result. And and I I hate not actually I hate, I just don't like it. People that love uh, criticizing other people. I don't like that because okay. I don't think we have the right to criticize. But sometimes I do. <laughs> I am judgmental sometimes. <laughs> I am judgmental sometimes too. But as much as possible, I avoid to do that because I don't think it's a good practice and it's not gonna it's not gonna help you either to win a friend. So Okay. If you have nothing nice to say, just shut your mouth. <laughs> 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 well, that's good advice, though, because uh, sometimes people, uh, they tend to talk about other people and then they ended up going 
to a negative discussion. So yeah. it's good to avoid that overall because you just never know that one day you're going to run into them again and then they you ended up uh, working with them. So it's a matter of, you know, um, preserving the relationship also at the same time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why if, if you are disliking that person, just don't say a word because you'll never know one day you will need that person. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, those are they're, those are amazing because again, I am admiring on how you're able to bring in over 500 people in an event, and most of them have a very very good relationship with you, and they're all flying all over. Uh, some of them came from like uh, East Coast. Some of them are from another country. And I, I think there were several different countries that they were all flying for your event because of your relationship with them. And, and that is where I see how, um, how effective your relationship is with people, uh, that you're able to really influence that many people around you, um, knowing that you are, uh, you are in that uh, position to where you're working for a, a company full-time as a controller and then uh, started working for a nonprofit as a president for the first time being a president, you pulled all these people all together. It's just an incredible result. I, and then you were aired on TFC, which is one of the biggest uh, Filipino channel. <laughs> that was incredible. Uh, so your accomplishment is, I mean, I, I'm really impressed because I've been doing my business for years and I have not seen the way you've worked. And that's why I'm so uh, curious about how you do it. But anyway, so you're going to have a TV show and, and then you're going to have, you're, are you still going to continue the Cyrus Space uh, beauty pageant? Um, for now, um, I'm not doing anything about that yet. Okay. What I am focusing is to continue doing my awarding buddy. Okay. So that's because I think I am, I just discovered that I think that's where I'm good at it. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Uh, I'm excited and I'm um, so anxious that, that this lockdown be over so I can start working on it because I'm receiving a lot of um, uh, requests, text messages, requests <laughs> from the people when it's going to be because they can't wait anymore. So they, they did have a lot of great experiences also. That's why they're anxious to be at your event. Correct. Yeah. And I truly can relate to that. I love the way you run your event stream. I mean, seriously, uh, hats up to you, my friend. I mean, you are amazing. You were very, very good to people. And um, at the same time, you are firm when it comes to, you know, negotiating. And, and this is one thing that people actually need to know about you is how you negotiate also. You know, um, when it comes to the Filipino community and Negotiating is really one of the hardest <laughs> because <laughs> Filipinos are tough when it comes to negotiation. <laughs> if you want to learn how to negotiate, go to the Philippines. <laughs> I think that's uh, I think that's number one Filipino character that it's really amazing. Yeah. It's been how to bargain yeah. in any way, in any place they can bargain. <laughs> yes, and you know how to deal with them. Oh my gosh, because for me it's almost like. Are you serious? You're gonna you're gonna bargain this when I'm already giving you this such great deal, and you're still bargaining. And that's how you come in, and you're able to really work with everyone. And that's why you have a lot of people coming to your event because of. I think it's all about like um, experience on a customer service. Yes. Kind of. Oh <laughs> yeah. You you were also. That I'm doing is uh, is a uh, customer service oriented kind of business. So. All you have to do is just satisfy your customer. How, yeah. can, how can you make them happy? How can you make them into your business? So that's how it, it takes though. So. Yeah. Well, prior <laughs> from uh, being in the United States, in the Philippines, uh, you also had a very uh, major uh, business role in there. What did you do in the Philippines again? Um, I used to be, um, I used to own a banded warehouse in the Philippines then. Okay. And um, it's, it's an import export business. Okay. And after that, I'm moving here. Okay. <laughs> I immigrated here. <laughs> okay. But from, from what I learned from you is when you were in the Philippines, uh, you actually work with a lot of officials, city officials, and there's because of the import and export business, that is That's a pretty wide, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Can, you, can you tell us more about that and what, what kind of uh, role did you do in the Philippines? Yeah, when you, when you do a business of importing sports, you have to deal with so many um, government offices to deal with because you, you, you need to get all those uh, permits. It's all about compliance. So um, you, have to, you have to make friends to get those. <laughs> okay, okay. That's, that's one part. Uh, yeah, they used to call me there as social butterfly. At first, I didn't understand what is social butterfly, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I just realized that that's a different, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good name. So. It's a compliment. <laughs> it's a compliment. So. Okay. <laughs> At first, I was like, huh, I'm just being friendly, you know? Okay, but, so yeah. so you're very social and you're friendly and that's how you're able to work with the city officials because they like you and it makes a big difference in how you run your business uh, in the Philippines. Yes. Okay. Well, you know, that's how I, I think, you know, to, to run your business is you have to be likable too. I mean, people work with, uh, with people that they like. It's Correct. one of those yeah, when you do uh, things. Business, you have to be likable, yeah. Yeah. Um, talking about um, Philippines, um, during this lockdown, I just, uh, my two other friends, we just conceptualized a new project that we're going to do in the Philippines. Yes. So uh, just a few days ago, um, I just took a new business name in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the name is uh, World Gym Entertainment uh, Productions. So we're very, very excited on that. It's, and what is it about? It is an awarding body that uh, the concept is we're bringing in all Filipino around the world. Uh, the elite Filipino around the world, we will invite them to go home and receive the awards that we are going to give to them. Wow! So they fly around the, uh, from different parts of the globe, and they have to go to the Philippines to receive that award from us. And what so do you call that new, award? Yeah, the award will be named World Elite Award. World so, Elite Award. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> so that's the new project that I am very excited with. During oh my this gosh! Phase that uh, we're hoping we can uh, do the first awarding by 2021 when everything is cleared and everyone can travel now around the world so that will be a, an expensive flight <laughs> it's gonna be an expensive flight but it's gonna be amazing that that all the uh, elite filipino around the world will gonna put them all together in one event it's oh very my. exciting so that's oh wow. my gosh I can't so is wait. this gonna be in a very high-end hotel Correct. It's going to be a high-end, uh, top-of-the-line awarding of the Filipino community around the world. Oh, my gosh. That's exciting. Yeah. And when is this going to be? Uh, so it will be on 2021? 2021, 2021 be... first quarter. First quarter? Okay. So you're looking at a, uh, either January, February, March, which yeah. is really not bad to go to the Philippines at that time because I think the ticket is uh, a lot more reasonable, too. It's like summertime there, and it's uh, storm-free. Yeah, yeah, that's actually the perfect time to go to the Philippines, yeah. especially no, March. Yeah. Isn't that they have all the parades on March? March is like a graduation uh, time in the Philippines. Well. Oh, okay. And the school year is not, I mean, the school days will not change yet. Okay. The, uh, crisis. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be interesting when when Philippines is going to open up uh, after the coronavirus, so that will be... Uh, interesting how that's going to turn out but anyway um i i thank you uh rain for all of this if anybody is interested in uh, getting more information of, about all your projects what do they how do they get a hold of you uh, i can easily uh uh reach in the my facebook account okay it's rain yeah that's i'm always so that's there r-e-i-n i'm always there <laughs> okay and and uh so you just want them to send you a direct message through uh facebook and is there a website that they can get a hold of you or anything like that? Yes, we have a website, the miscyberspace.com. You can go there too and you can check us out there. 
Okay, cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Shrein. Is there anything else that you wanted to say to people before we sign off? Yes, uh, I, I'd like to invite um, the people, the friends around here in the U.S. or in anywhere around the world that the Fire Awards is coming up very soon. Uh, just uh, reach out for me or uh, Murray as well. Murray is my yeah. partner in my Fire Awards. <laughs> yes, uh, it's true. <laughs> and we're very, very anxiously supposed to have one on October, but let's see. We're still on a wait and see if it's gonna happen but i'm sure it's gonna happen anytime soon so yes i yeah, am so, so proud to be a partner of rain for the fire awards because i've seen uh, her accomplishment and i'm so blessed that she said yes to partner with me um I, I i'm telling you my experience with rain has been amazing um the last event that we did was so smooth and so successful and i'm looking forward to this year's uh, fire awards event so i'm hoping that you guys will connect with uh rain or myself uh, if you wanted to get involved with that and make sure that you subscribe to our youtube account and don't forget to uh, share this video to other filipino communities or to any of your friends uh, whether they're not uh, on where they're uh, caucasian or outside the countries i mean definitely share this video because um, we do uh, invite people from all over especially now that she has a project in the philippines <laughs> that's going to be amazing so again thank you so much everyone um hope you have a great uh weekend coming up and rain thank you so much again for your time okay thank you so much marie thank you looking all forward right. again i hope we can party again thank yes. you yes thank you thank you all right you take care <laughs> thank you marie bye-bye okay. bye-bye